Everyone is leaving Georgia. Everyone. Get me out of here! Well, technically, not everyone, because Georgia has a 1% growth rate year over year, which means there are more people coming into the state than actually leaving the state. Nevertheless, there are people who are done with Georgia. They are leaving. In 2021, 100,000 people moved to another state. So if you ever asked yourself where those people are moving to, you came to the right place. In this video, I'm going to show you the top 10 states people are actually moving to from Georgia and what it would cost you you to live there. Cool beans. Cool beans. And let me tell you, there might be a surprise in that list, or maybe two or three, but let's go. Number 10 on the list is Pennsylvania. And yes, I don't get it either. Why Pennsylvania? I mean, from all the states you could choose from, you choose Pennsylvania. In 2019, and yes, it's an all statistic. Well, that's the newest I could get. But in 2019, 3% of the overall people that left Georgia moved to Pennsylvania. That was a whooping 7,500 people that moved up there. And I don't know why. I mean, if you know what is up there in Pennsylvania, I want to know. Can't be the weather because you're moving from the warm to the cold unless you really hate warm weather. When it comes to home prices, that's a different story. Even though Georgia is pretty cheap when it comes to cost of living and home prices, Pennsylvania is even cheaper. The average home price in Pennsylvania is $282,000, while the average home price in Georgia is $362,000. And yes, that depends, of course, where you at in Georgia. I'm pretty sure that Atlanta and the Atlanta suburbs, as well as Savannah, bring up the average sales price here in Georgia quite a bit. But let me know why Pennsylvania. I want to know. It was actually a super tight race. Number nine, Ohio, seven. 1,670 people started their new journey by moving from Georgia to Ohio. And I don't know what it is up there, so enlighten me. Bring me the facts why Ohio can't be the cold weather because who likes cold weather? Or is it the sports teams? Go dogs! <laughs> Versus the Buckeye battle cry? Is that the reasoning for people moving up there? I don't know. Please tell me. Give me some insight on Ohio. Maybe the weather doesn't have anything to do with people moving there. Probably jobs. You know, it could be the sports teams. Who knows? If you know, I would like to know. Maybe it's the housing because there is a significant difference between Ohio and Georgia. And I thought Georgia was cheap, but apparently Ohio is way cheaper because the state overall average home price is only $230,000 while Georgia is a hundred hundred and thirty two thousand dollars higher at three hundred and sixty two thousand dollars I wonder what the rest of the cost of living in Ohio actually is is it also way cheaper than Georgia that is already cheap number eight on the list is Virginia nine thousand two hundred people decided to leave Georgia to move to Virginia at least it's better than Ohio and Pennsylvania I guess because more people decided to move to Virginia so there must be something in Virginia up north that draws people People up there. Higher paying jobs, less humidity, because it cannot be the home prices. Virginia is quite a bit more expensive when it comes to the average home price. The average home price in Virginia is $405,000, which is a whooping $43,000 more expensive than the beautiful state of Georgia. Number seven is Tennessee, and that's also one of my favorite states. I'm a little biased. I mean, I love Tennessee. There's so much to do. The outdoors, the wildlife, the strawberry wine, and the Tennessee whiskey, maybe more the Tennessee whiskey, moonshine, all that stuff. And it's just a beautiful state. I would probably move there as well if I ever going to retire. 12,700 people thought exactly the same way, packed their backs off to Tennessee. So I cannot be mad about it. Probably it's the first state I have nothing bad to say about. Sorry. And when it comes to housing, there's not much difference. They're pretty much similar. I mean, the average home sales price in Tennessee and Georgia Georgia are pretty much identical. Number six on the list is Ella. Alabama, roll tight, or sweet home Alabama, and I just hope people did not move there because of the song, because it's really catchy, but not a reason to move at all. 14,000 Georgians, though, decided to move from Georgia to Alabama in 2019. 14,000, that's a lot of people. Maybe it's the sports, Auburn or University of Alabama. Which one is it? Who are you for? It's like a common saying in Alabama. I hope I did not start an Alabama online YouTube brawl here. Shit. 
But I would like to know, who are you for? Let me know. Personally, I think it's the green fried tomatoes because they're delicious. And that would be my reason to move to Alabama or one reason because the other reason is the Gulf Shore. I love the Gulf Shore. It doesn't matter if Florida or Alabama, it's beautiful. That bathtub water of the Gulf of Mexico is just amazing. That would be probably another reason. For a lot of people, it might be housing because Alabama is actually cheaper when it comes to the average home price. Almost $100,000 cheaper because the average home price in Alabama is $278,000. It's not 100,000, but almost. In Georgia, $362,000. That could be a good reason as well. Coming in at number five, believe it or not, it's California. Yes, you did hear right. California is number five when it comes to people leaving Georgia and move into another state. In 2019, 14,500 people left Georgia because they thought California is better or whatever. But on the flip side, California is also one of the states where the most people are moving to Georgia from. In the same year where 14,500 Georgians moved to California, 15,500 Californians moved to Georgia. Guess what folks, that's the news. And the reason for that, who knows, might be the prices out there in California because it's getting ridiculous. California is beautiful, don't get me wrong. They have lots to do, beautiful ocean sides, beautiful cities, San Diego, San Francisco. I mean, there's a lot to do, but it's just too expensive and unaffordable for a lot of us. And you can tell that just looking by the average home prices. I mean, Georgia is $400,000 cheaper when it comes to the average home price than California. The average home price in California is $762,000. And let me tell you, what you get for $762,000, you would probably not even pay $50,000 here in Georgia. But I would love to hear from Georgians moving to California or Californians moving to Georgia. Why? What was the reasoning moving from to either way? I would love to hear your stories. Number four on the list, 16,600 people left Georgia and moved just across the border to the neighbor, which you cannot really consider moving somewhere else. They're probably gonna be back sooner or later. But 16,600 people decided to leave Georgia for South Carolina. South Carolina is nice. My wife is from South Carolina. It's beautiful out there. I'm personally not a big fan of that college football rivalry because it kind of splits the family in half. Clemson or Gamecocks, who are you for? <sighs> It's not mine. South Carolina itself is beautiful. Greenville is amazing. They have a super nice revamped and revitalized inner city with that weird hanging bridge and a waterfall. Super nice out. And that's number four on the list where people actually move to from Georgia. And when it comes to home prices, it's literally the same. There's not much difference. I think every state around is pretty close in home prices, but one, there's one exception. Why did you move to South Carolina and left beautiful Georgia. Can't understand that. We arrived at the top three states that Georgians are actually relocating to. And I wanna know, were there any surprises so far for you? I know for me, when I did my research, there was definitely a surprise. But I wanna know, what do you think? Number three on the list is South Carolina's evil twin. We don't talk about North Carolina. Yeah, I'm, I'm joking. Sorry, it was a joke. Don't get upset. Nevertheless, North Carolina is actually on number three where most Georgians are moving to. 19,600 people moved from Georgia to North Carolina. I honestly don't know why I have not been in North Carolina. What is special about North Carolina? Let me know, please. I want to know because I do not know much about North Carolina. It's not the housing market because as South Carolina, North Carolina and Georgia are pretty similar with the average home price. There's not much difference. They're all in the 350 to $365,000 range. So that cannot be it. But I want to know why people left. Is it a job? Is it the area? Is it family? There must be a reason and I want to know. 
Number two on the list is Texas. And we all know everything is bigger in Texas. So are the numbers of people moving from Georgia to the Lone Star State. In 2019, 24,200 people decided to move to Texas from Georgia. I cannot blame them. I cannot be mad. Same as with Tennessee. I am not mad because Texas has great barbecue and we do not have great barbecue in Georgia. And I know that there are people that are gonna light a fire on the market. But no. Not literally, but you know what I mean. They hate on me for saying that because they think Georgia has great barbecue, but there is no great barbecue. If you ever had Kansas City or Texas barbecue, then Georgia's barbecue is more like dog food, in my opinion. But nevertheless, maybe that is one reason why people move to Texas. They were sick of the Georgia barbecue, or it's just the job market. Even though Georgia's job market is growing, Texas right now is blowing up. If you look at Austin, there's so many tech companies moving to Austin, Texas. It is insane what is going on there. And maybe that is one reason because home prices wise, they're pretty much the same again. There are so many states that average pretty much the same home price than Georgia that I don't understand how Georgia can be 20% cheaper than the national average. Put California aside, which other states are actually pushing the national average home price out that high that Georgia is still lower by 20% than the national average, but it's pretty much exactly the same as South Carolina, Tennessee, North Carolina, and Texas. Why Texas? What made you leave Georgia? And I'm not mad, promise. Number one on the list is our neighbor down South, Florida. Yep, we just moved from cheaper Georgia to more expensive Florida. That happened and happens a lot. And I can tell you in 2019, almost 50,000 people made that decision. 49,700 people moved from Georgia to Florida. On the other hand, 46,000 people, 46,700 moved from Florida. They were done with it. You know, bye-bye, Florida. This is harder than I thought it would be. And moved up to Georgia. So those two states, they really do love each other. I love all of you. And the people love to move back and forth and back and forth. It's like the moving happens very often, but 50,000 people, that's a lot. That's quite a bit more. That's double as many people as Georgians moved to Texas in the same year. But why Florida? I mean, Florida is more expensive, no doubt. When it comes to average housing, it doesn't seem that much because Florida is around 400,000, so around $40,000 more, that's the average. But there's so many cities like Orlando, Miami, Tampa, that are way more expensive than it is here, for example, in middle Georgia, they're more like the Atlanta price range. Insurance is more expensive because of the weather there. And that's also one of the biggest reasons why people are leaving Florida is because of the weather. Not the nice weather, of course, but it's because of the bad weather, of the storms and hurricanes destroying their livelihood, homes and all that. That is the number one reason why people are actually leaving Florida, but I want to know the number one reason why people are leaving Georgia to move to Florida. If you move from Georgia to Florida, let me know what your number one reason was. And if you move from Florida to Georgia, I want to hear it as well. If you are moving to any of those states mentioned, or you are coming from any of those states mentioned to Georgia, let me know. I can help. I can even help in all the states I mentioned because I got amazing realtor friends all over the nation that can help you move to your dream location. And now that you know where people are moving to from the state of Georgia, you should check out this video right here about the pros and cons of living in Georgia. And maybe one of those cons made people actually leave. I'll see you in the next one.